Hello everyone, this is Tom with Stock Navigator and this is today's market update for February 16, 2021. So let's take a look on the Dow, uh, um, uh, the DIA. As you can see that the market today is still continue to put it high high. So right now the market is in all time high. So right now it's the best way that we keep manage our position as long as the trend is still up, we will stick with the upside until they show us the side of reversal. So right now, at this moment, the market is still in uptrend, even though they pull back a little bit, but it's no sign of reversal yet. So I think that we are in the final phase on uh, this cycle here. So let's see how far it can go, and then we will monitor and let you know. And if you look at the uh, uh, small cap top, the Russell 2000, uh, they hit to the top, so they go sideways, they pull back. So um, let's see they be able to uh, uh, hold it up here and then put it back up tomorrow. Uh, or they will put it back down to fill up the gap here. So it depends on how the market is going to do tomorrow. So we can let you know. But overall, you know, so far the market has been moved up but very far away. And then, but the trend is still up. So. Uh, we still stick with the uptrend until the change is trend, uh, the trend is change, okay? Uh, and if you look at the uh, technology stock, it's still also a pretty strong, even though they pull back a little bit, but overall trend, it still has some uh, more room to go. Uh, the semiconductor is a strong sector. They continue to make it uh, all-time high, but it's a little bit extended, so, but, uh, but the trend is still up, so... You know, not much we can do. We have to stick with the uptrend and try and stay with the trend. Okay, the SP 500, which is the key component for the market here, it, they will push it back up. They push it back up, they make all time high, and then they pull back down a little bit. So it's no shy of damage yet. So technically, it still have room to uh, to the upside. So, uh, you know, we as a trader, we have to look at the, the chart. Whatever the chart tell you, it's still an uptrend. We still stick with the uptrend until they show it the side that they're going to reverse, and then we will see it right on the chart. So if you look at the uh, a lot of sector, uh, the bio sector, the uh, XLV, the healthcare sector, it's still uh, in the uptrend, but they are losing momentum a little bit this morning. So a lot of stock in this sector that people start taking profit because it's too far, too far, and then they run uh, to the top. Okay, so this one, another one right there. So M-R-N-A. This one, it also uh, hit to the resistance, but they are still hold up very strong. Uh, E-B-S. Uh, so the healthcare, the bio sector, they pull back a little bit, but overall, then it's still uh, bullish. This one is uh, uh, the Edward Science, uh, Life Science is still uh, hand there, okay, even though they pull back down a little bit. Johnson Johnson also uh, pull back, but they still hold up there, okay. So so let's see if the market is they going down, they will show it, okay, more bearish will come in. But uh, if they can hold up, it means that they will try to put it back up. The financial sector is uh, pretty strong today, as you can see. They continue to put it back up, like on the weekly market forecast. That's the two sectors that we're looking to uh, right now, that the uh, financial and the energy. So the financial it, it continue to put it back up. A lot of talk in this sector, like we mentioned, it continue to make a new high. And uh, J.B. Morgan, that's another key component on the financial sector, it also doing well. Goldman Sachs, another strong one there, and the, um, the you know bank, they do uh, pretty strong as you can see, and another sector, the energy sector, it do uh, hold up pretty strong as you can see. They put it all time high again for this one, not all time high, but it's a higher high, okay. And uh, the uh, a couple of stock in this sector like Axon Mobil, try to put it back up. Let's see if they're able to continue to keep this momentum. Uh, the oil, uh, crude oil going up today during the, because the frozen in the Midwest. That's why it, uh, they have to close out a lot of refinery. So everything slowed out there. 
So uh, the oil and natural gas, it, it try to put you back up. And uh, OXY, that's another strong one. They try to put you back up. VLO, okay, so the oil talk, it, 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 it very strong. It continue to put you upside. Uh, a lot of talk in the uh, uh, communication sector is still strong there, but a lot of talk in this sector is still uptrend right now. But they are a little bit too tended, but as long as the trend is still up, uh, they're still in there. This one here still stuck into the triangle there. CM, CSA, this one, a couple of them are still hold up very high in the upside. Okay, so um, as you can see that at this moment, the market is still uh, bullish as long as they still stay above the moving average, okay, then they still have a, a little bit more momentum to put it upside. And then when it hits the upside, you know, sooner or later, you know, somebody will have to take profit and then we will have some correction. So let's see how far they can put it up until the, uh, uh, the third week of the February here. Okay, so if you are in our live trading room today and when the market open, we already notify our member that the market is already in the downtrend. So they push it back up when the market open, they push it back up right into the resistance. It wants you to be support, now become resistant, and people start shorting it to the downside to the first level of support. And then they turn around, they push it back up. So, uh, you know, in the first hour, if you quick, you're able to capture. 12 point down, 12 point up, you know, that's a $200 uh, per uh, contract uh, on the ES. And after that, the market, they, they put it back down, and then, then they put it back up, and then they still going down. Okay, so right now they are trying to find a support. And then, you know, if they be able to break the down trend line here, they will continue to the upside. Okay, so uh, that's all we have for you today. And uh, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So every time we have a new video, we will let you know so that you uh, be able to follow along and then to see what I'm, where the market heading to. And if you would like to learn how to uh, make a short-term daily income as well as learn how to do swing trades, you can make a bigger profit potential. You can check out our website at stocknavigators.com for more information. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.